Multi Choice Nigeria commits 1.2 billion to support Nigeria's fight against COVID 19. The contribution includes cash support of 200 million naira and 50 million naira to the federal and Lagos state governments, respectively. The donation of 10,000 certified test kits to the NCDC. Public service announcement, um, COVID-19 prevention tips in English, Pidgin, Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa languages, as well as in approved inventory worth over 550 million naira, highlighting the NCDC's COVID-19 helplines and public service announcement on more than 10 channels across DSTV and GoTV. The company will also cover <coughs> the remuneration of engaged creative industry professionals whose productions have been disrupted with a committed sum of 400 million naira. Kudos. Um, well like, done. Like I said, kudos to, to DSTV. Yeah. But mm -hmm. again, um, they've been doing business in Nigeria for how long? Over, over a decade. Really now? No, I'm just when saying. When it was Netflix, we were just no. happy and just ne happy. No, I even mentioned that, that kudos they were to still them. making I mean, I can't money. take it away from there. Like I did say yesterday, which, no, no, I shouldn't feel self-entitled. But I'm just saying, you know, that prior to now, I, I can't. I stand to be corrected. I don't know if there's any corporate res social responsibility they've taken in the community from which they've Whoa, profited from. No. I said I don't know. I stand to be corrected. Big brother. Oh. I'm just saying. They're profiting from that also. No. You know, something, something, <laughs> something really They've communal, met celebrities something. and stars. They do, they do. They that, do that's have why I said that. I actually, stand, that's actually, they do. I they do a lot. Yeah, Too many, actually. They do for a lot of You know, um, so kudos to them. Mm. Um, I, want, I want to see more organizations who profit from the community from where they do their businesses, mm. especially at this point in time, Nigeria to be very particular, come and do things like what DSTV just did, you know, and so um, still not to sound so self-entitled. Um, it's, it's, it's a good give, it's a good give, and we want to, see more. We're so, we want to see more of that, you know, um, there, there's still some particular Nigerians, Nigerians are expecting to come out and donate to this course, and I'm hoping also that this is setting a good trend for many establishments. Why are you expecting them? Did, they, did you give them money? Oh to them? I'm expecting. If they don't, it's still fine. I mean, if they don't, it's still fine also. Okay. Benny's expecting So I expect, it, is this, do I feel any type of weight, maybe ecstatic that DSTV is doing this? I no. do. It, it's, it's, it's expected of them. Mm-mm. Hmm. But okay. um, I uh, Let's call them multi choice. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I think that it is amazing that they're doing this. I remember when we were talking about Peace Square and his follower, and I said, um, not that it had anything to do with him, like I've been reiterating. I'm saying that uh, I like when people give, and the, and the giving is meaningful. I'm mm. um, kind of like tattered clothes and, you know, type of stuff. This one for me was spot on. First of all, they were explaining where this goes. I haven't seen that yet. I've heard this person is giving ten million naira, ten dollars, ten thousand hundred million. But these people are breaking it down. We're giving ten thousand um, kids to these people. We're giving two hundred fifty million to this but place. There's always We're gonna do it down, actually, all, from all, the, all those people. Aside the ones that are coming from individuals, like you know the Tinubu and the like, but the ones that have been coming from corporate organizations, they've always had breakdown. I haven't seen any. Yeah, which 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 UBA mention, had a okay, breakdown. UBA, UBA. Um, okay. Even Netflix had a breakdown for the assets. There's, there's always been breakdown once you reach through. Okay. So from yeah. corporate organizations, but yeah, individuals don't necessarily just oh. donate. Right. Mm -hmm. now, Maybe that's what I've been seeing. I think more than those, just those donations. I'm very particular. Now, Nigeria is a very peculiar country. Um, who is going to account for all of this money being given? Who is going to um, oversee, supervise to ensure that what this money is being put for is actually being utilized, which has always been our big problem on this side. Yeah, but you I know. think um, the ones that are coming from corporate organizations, it's also their own responsibility as to well follow to up. Yeah. follow up. They, like you mentioned CSR, they already have an office for that. So yeah. there is someone that is the head of CSR, yeah. there's someone that's head of PR. So those people, it is their job right now to make sure that the monies and the kits and everything gets to yeah. the right people. The, first the, the ones I'm worried for are basically the, private, the, the individuals. Donors. Yeah. And the ones that are just saying, and we are giving 200 million, the yeah. government saying, those ones. So I remember having issues with that earlier with the government. And then I asked a, a friend, a family member I know that's in the government thing. And they said most of the, for him personally, he knew that a lot of that goes into paying staffs that are working. Um, and that's where, that's where that money that he knows for sure goes into. Now, how those staffs, like if I pay the manager of 
whatever of clean so, uh, um, sanitation or whatever we don't know how that person uses it but most of the time those monies are going into salary but back to what i was trying to say is that i like the way that it was broken down and i like how they had the people in mind um, a lot of the times people have had issues with um convey, conveying this message of covid 19 and the and the the thing that comes the theory that comes with it to people who don't speak english um so i like that they also put that into consideration because then that helps break down the challenge of like you know dealing and um, communicating to people that's who are not uh, also people who are not um literate as well like this will help if they say it in their own languages i haven't really seen much um come up in terms of even in lagos with with um uh informations that are not in english most of the time they're always in english there's some radio stations i have to give credit to that just say you know convey this message in other languages so it's nice that dstv is actually thinking about language barrier as well